Hey Aries, it's Tammy with Spot On Psychic Readings. Um, I wanted to come in and uh, do part two of your reading, okay? So if you've watched the first one, that would be helpful because I'm going to pick up right where I left off on the other reading because there's a lot here that I think you need to know and I wanted to dig at this for you, okay? Because I love you guys <laughs> and I really just want to see what you need to know. Seriously, thank you for being here. Um, I'm, I'm just picking up where I left off, okay? So what I, what I got was there was going to be some sort of a bad ending. I was asking, um, what does Aries need to know? Just what else do the cards want to tell Aries? What warnings or whatever? Ten of Swords. I feel like this is where you're at. You're being released from some kind of bad ending, somebody getting divorced, that sort of thing. Seemed to involve children and family and stuff in the other reading, okay? Um, then I, I asked for some clarification on that. Got the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is um you know pretty heavy duty card this can have to do with marriages it can represent commitments it can also have to do with religion and spirituality and um, dogmatic beliefs or any sort of beliefs they don't have to be dogmatic but can go there and it can have to do with people involved in the church or the clergy or pastors you know that sort of thing it can represent that it can also uh, represent higher deities okay the thing that got me concerned about it, the reason I went to dig at it, because I said clarify the Hierophant, because it can go in a lot of different directions. The clarification is why I'm back here right now. Because the clarification on the Hierophant was the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. These are, these are not fun cards. This is really negative energy, somebody trying to undermine you or attack you or attack your reputation. And this is somebody sneaking around trying to steal from you, you know, potentially theft, potentially um, somebody trying to steal something emotional, maybe somebody trying to steal a marriage or money that was supposed to go to a church, for instance. There's lots of ways this could go. So this is why I'm clarifying because, wow, Aries, that's some heavy duty stuff there. <laughs> the really heavy duty stuff. So. I'm going to start out, let's uh, put these in the order they came up. I've got one big goosebump right now, so I know the, um, excuse me, wow, my nose is itching. Somebody's coming. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask about, I'm going to ask these cards to clarify the Hierophant. I'll just warn you, these cards are pretty intense on their own. But this is a pretty intense situation, so let's just see what they say. What does Aries need to know? All right, this one, these are popping up right away. Okay, yeah, third party situation. Three of Cups, first of all, having to do with this marriage or commitment. Okay, so it's talking about a love celebration um, of, of three, all right? And we've got the Ten of Wands. So this is something to do with success through sacrifice in this deck. This is about sacrificing something you want to get something else um, better. Or somebody is, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's see if there's anything else to clarify the Hierophant. First of all, we'll start there. Yeah, the Two of Wands, Two of Wands. It's new opportunities, new opportunities for two, two opportunities and the cat. And we got the strength card. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Some of you may be dealing with the Taurus um, with this Hierophant card. And you need to know about Page of Cups. Okay, so somewhere in this mix, um, I feel like I feel like we've got three people here. We've got the two of wands, we've got the strength card, and we got the page of cups. There's somebody younger in this picture, okay? There's somebody younger. Um, there's somebody who wants to come in and, I don't know, attack the marriage or um, cut somebody off at the knees. And this person, sometimes this can be a narcissistic energy or just somebody younger, somebody sort of frivolous and that kind of thing. It can just be a friend who comes in, turns more romantic over time, okay? Um, can be a message of love and that sort of thing. 
Um, but again, this is a situation of a commitment out of some sort of, that requires a sacrifice of some sort, like a trade-off, a trade-off of, um, you know, I'm going to get this, but I'm going to lose that. Okay. Life is full of trade-offs. I'm always telling people that because it's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, let's look at Seven of Swords. Why is there this sneaky Seven of Swords energy, Aries, um, showing up around the Hierophant? Judgment. Because there's something legal going on. There's also karma. Big time karma around this marriage situation and this third party situation, okay? Let's see what else. These are new cards and they're sticky. <laughs> Sorry. Um, here we've got two of cups. Okay. Yeah. So this is something coming back together. Something um, like two people coming together or contracts coming together. But in this card, you can see there's a third person back there in the, in the back. So it's like somewhere, I feel like there's a third person who's being left behind. So these two can come together. Okay, and again, this would represent the marriage and stuff that we're seeing. And this judgment card having to do with legalities, um, also having to do with karma, big time karma. Anything else about Seven of Swords and the Hierophant? Yeah, so we've got the six, you're, you're winning. <laughs> we've got Six of Wands. So however this goes, Aries, whether there's a bad ending or not, you are winning. Again, trade-offs. Okay, you might be trading off this bad ending, but you're winning. Okay, see how that's working? So I still want to know, this Hierophant's very much representing commitments and people coming together. Let's go over here and clarify this Seven of Swords energy. Why, why the sneaky energy um, having to do with this Hierophant well, Page of Swords. Okay, these flipped out. I'm going to take them. Page of Swords, which is some sort of a um, sneaky spying energy that came up in the other deck in the other reading that goes with this one. There's somebody watching you. Somebody wants to take something from you. And I feel like somebody's setting out to, like, steal something. We'll see. Hold on, I'll clarify. We've got Page of Wands. It's going to be some kind of a message coming to you, maybe from a Queen of Wands. Okay, she was in the last reading too. So if you haven't watched the last reading, make sure to, because it will make more sense with what I'm seeing and clarifying right here, okay? Uh, so why is somebody stealing something here, trying to steal, sneaking around? Hmm. We've got the Nine of Wands. Um, this is having to do with don't give up too soon. You know, if looking into this is making you feel anxious, like this is not working out, please don't feel that way because I'm digging at it to try to get you details to look out for. I'm not saying horrible things are happening. I'm trying to look at um, your enemy's agenda for you Aries right now, okay? So don't give up, <laughs> all right? Because some of you are probably going, oh, this is like too heavy. And it is. It is heavy. It is It is almost too heavy. It's like, you know, but when you get this much negative energy, I think it's better to be forewarned. Seriously, I do. And there's something going on with a third party and somebody spying on you. And there's juggling money or and or people. And also, I was going to say, this Queen of Wands came up in the other deck. She's the fiery um, queen who brings things to fruition. She makes things happen. She's very determined. She can be a fire energy like you. She can be Sagittarius or Leo. And Leo showed up in the last reading as well, as well as Sagittarius. So um, here's the fool. Something about paths moving forward. Don't give up. Paths moving forward. But somebody's like trying to throw that off and keep you from having that path going forward. Um, I can guess who it is. It's somebody involved with the marriage or commitment or um, something along those lines. Let's look at Five of Swords. This is negativity, toxic energy, that kind of stuff. 
Let's see where that's coming in. He's okay. Y'all hang in there with me. I know. So this is not totally a fun situation, but it's kind of like when you get to the end of this final battle, you're going to be good to go. And I know things are turning around. I've been following your story for months now, and I am seeing it turning a corner. So um, I, I feel like you're in this final kind of battle. Here's a Queen of Cups that came up in this. Um, this Queen of Cups is very alluring. This is somebody who wants a commitment with you. Your heart's very open. And she may have come up upside down for some of you. Like this is somebody who's really, really emotional. You know, her heart's really, really open. And this can be somebody um, who's expressing those emotions and that sort of thing. Can be somebody sometimes with addictions. Um, you know, can go to that sort of thing like uh, women who love too much almost, okay? All right, let me go over. I'm going to switch decks for a second. Let's ask what else does Aries need to know? Let's go over to this. About this Hierophant situation. That's the whole reason I'm doing this bonus reading right now. I wanted to see what else the cards had to say about the Hierophant situation and the sneaky Seven of Swords and seven of, um, Five of Swords energy. Okay. What else does Aries need to know? Um, there's going to be some kind of change for the better. Here's the butterfly card. Change for the better. You're waiting for news. Um, there's going to be some kind of solid foundation and success with a lot of effort. This is the tower, but in this deck, it's it's not the usual tower, okay? Um, it's foundations. And this is parting of ways either in romance or business. Yeah, I would say you are, for sure, parting ways. Let me go to this half of the deck and see what's going on with this half, Aries. What does Aries need to know it's jumped right out um, something important such as a new job or a raise and I did see that in the other reading for a lot of you what does this higher font what's this higher font about what's the higher font about it's about muddled unclear thinking and a dragon beware of self-delusion that applies take it if it doesn't it's not yours okay I always tell people take what resonates um, not what doesn't don't try to make it fit if it doesn't coins this is money will be coming to you Aries money will be coming to you and this may be why somebody is looking to steal it <laughs> okay so um, do Read between the lines on all of this, okay? Look into any kind of contracts you sign, like really, really examine contracts. When I see this kind of theft card, this is not usually somebody breaking into your house. This is usually somebody um, being conniving and sneaky because the sneaky energies have shown up a bunch of times. And I feel like this is somebody trying to come after your coins or your money in an underhanded way of... Um, not signing on the dotted line the right way or the paper was printed on the wrong color. I mean, you know, they're looking for loopholes is what I'm trying to say. So you really have to watch everything. Watch all the fine print with anything that has to do with something legal. Now, as you know, I'm not an attorney. I'm a psychic, so I don't give legal advice. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. So it's up to you to take it or leave it, okay? I always tell people don't make decisions solely on tarot readings, but it's, you know, it's a good heads up, but you know, use your own discernment. Okay. Um, this is excitement. There's firecracker it's excite excitement about something Aries. Let's see. But I really would read things carefully. Whoa this one um the ram <laughs> there's the aries ram um stubborn and aggressive person okay now this is the ram this could be potentially you aries being stubborn 
and maybe aggressive. Imagine that. <laughs> no I'm kidding, you guys. But, you know, seriously. Um, there's something about dealings with a younger man for some of you. There is a vacation for some of you, maybe with the younger man. Uh, this is all a temporary situation, as you know. And the wedge. This is someone trying to come between you and a friend or lover or something you want. A wedge. Yeah. And that's that sneaky energy trying to get in on your commitment or your marriage in some way. Okay. Toxic energy trying to cut you off the knees, ruin your reputation, and there may be a bad ending. So again, I started this reading clarifying the Hierophant. Let me just ask, is there any final words for this on uh, for Aries? I think this is, I hope this has clarified it. This answered a lot of my questions. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it did for you too. Let's see, is there anything else? No, they want me to go to a different deck. Hold on. They, the spirit guides, your spirit guides. Okay, here we go. Anything else Aries needs to know? Anything else Aries needs to know? You know, I'm trying to look out for you guys. I put this in the comment last time. I was like, don't make rude comments, you guys. I'll block you. <laughs> because I'm on your side. I'm trying to look out for you. I'm not trying to cast negative vibes out there. I mean, whoever's doing this stuff's casting their own negative vibes. I'm trying to help you watch out for it, okay? So please don't be mean to the messenger. <laughs> okay. All right. What else does Aries need to know? Just in general, three, yeah, three of cups. Here it is. That is three people. One is a queen of wands. Look at that. One is a queen of wands. She's come up three, four times now between this reading and the first one. The lovers. This is making a choice between two people. It's clear as day. It's clear as day here, Aries. Yeah, and the Empress. You may be dealing with somebody who is a mother or somebody who has you have children with. Anything else, Aries needs to know. Yeah, this one on the bottom. Here you go. I'll leave you with this one. Whole new beginning, Aries. This is Ace of Wands. A whole new beginning for you guys. So, um, this is where it's getting you, you know, yeah, there's a lot of interference. <laughs> there is. I mean, I can't put it any other way. There's a lot of interference. There's a lot of changing partners going on, like different people want different people. You know, it, it's like a whole different love situation with the lovers and the queen of wands right in the middle of it. Fire sign energy and the upside down three of cups. I mean, this is all about, and here's a marriage over here, um, there's a mother here. There's just a new beginning, new beginning in all of this. Um, so you guys are in the throes of it right now. I feel like you're kind of in the final battle, so to speak, right now of the situation. And you're going to have a release from it soon, Aries. It could be really intense this week with the full moon and Pluto in Aquarius, <laughs> and the solar flash energy. Um, you know, it's tough. I'm not kidding you. The energy's tough this week. So do all that you can to just protect yourself. Try to stay calm. Really try to stay calm. It's a big deal. So um, yeah, there it is, Aries. There it is. It, it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward. You just have some decisions to make. And I think you've already, a lot of you've already made them and you guys are doing great. So hang in there and um, I love your Aries energy <laughs> and have a really good day. I hope this was helpful. Bye.